Okay, so the reason that I'm just using some uh, steel wool here and some super fine is that I'm just wanting to remove the rust, but I want all of this beautiful patina to stay. So if you look right here, we have some surface rust. It's pretty light. And what we're going to do is just set that down and just hit it with a little bit of the steel wool. You guys are familiar with the term gunmetal gray, correct? Well, that's what that is. That's gunmetal gray. So, anyway. So this thing is like 250 bucks. You know, they're, they're not real expensive. Shockingly high quality for something so inexpensive. But this is a sportsman's type scenario. This is not something that you you would want for um, hunting or any anything like that, a protection. I mean, it, it, <laughs> it would work. I mean, wars were fought with this, obviously. But um, that's not what we want it for. I just really like history. And I really like this kind of stuff, even though this is just a replica, historical replica. Um, my hope is one day to be able to afford the real thing. Our cylinder will be next. Now, I've had some issues here. Um, the nipples themselves are frozen to place. That is one, two, three, four nipples are frozen to place. I ordered some. It's going to take about a month for them to get here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave these in, these four right here, and we're going to clean around them. We'll put the other two back in because if I take these out, um, then I won't actually be able to use it. Now, I, I'm not necessarily worried about getting these out. It's just they're notoriously a huge pain in the butt, and there's an upgrade. And so we'll get the upgrade coming, but we're going to clean the cylinder up just like this, and when they come in, I'll replace them. You guys won't see that. What a fun little project. So this part's just getting cleaned. Now, you can... <laughs> when I say clean, I'm going to wipe this down. Like, I'm not going to... No abrasives whatsoever, and... Um, and we're just going to clean it with a little bit of oil. I'm not going to clean it with any chemical. If I were to put anything acid-based on here, it would remove this finish in a heartbeat. And that's a beautiful finish. And that will develop its own patina over time. Um, but we're going to leave it like that. It's really, really pretty. The handle. How goofy is that, huh? Like, look at that thing. It's all shiny and pretty and new and... Well, it's scratched up now. But um, So what we're going to do is we're going to sand this guy down and we're going to get that shellac coating off there and um, we're just going to do an oil coating so um, the natural wood color looks pretty good so we'll see if we keep it natural or we put a little bit of stain on there gotta tell you guys mr cool it is nice to have the shop at 65 degrees it's really hot outside i think it's somewhere in the neighborhood of 90 degrees and uh yeah it's just it's it's wonderful and you can see we we have the standard gaps over there it just it's this is a building of uh loose insulation there's still a gap right there that i need to take care of and it's cranking it out guys it's so ridiculously comfortable in here so i'll put a link in the description where you guys can pick one of these up yes that is the sponsor of the good old land channel and um also i put a video out of installing this particular unit so go check it out So pretty.
Okay, there you go. 1851 Navy, right? We're going to not use keywords here, guys. Um, also, we will not be banging this thing today. Uh, if you want to see that, go check it out on Instagram, and we'll show you just how straight these objects uh, operate. <laughs> yeah, it's just crazy that I can't oh man it's nuts so there's a lot of history behind these and i really wanted to get into it but if i did that guys if i was talking about the history um i'd get in trouble on youtube so it's a shame man it's a shame we live in a world of censorship hopefully that'll change soon so once again guys it's 95 degrees outside right now if you want to cool your shop Click the link in the description and check out the Mr. Cool mini split units. They're super easy to install. I actually have an install video there, and uh, I really like them, man. Fantastic stuff. And right now, it's like 68 degrees in here. I've got it set a little warmer than I normally do because it kind of freezes me out. I'm trying to acclimate. But uh, shop is nice and cool. Energy bills is next to nothing, and uh, we'll see you guys on the flip side.